Last step is to install Yeti app in our smart and configure it to use it with our son of smart switches. Let's have a look on to what Yeti can do for us. Yeti supports variety of devices including Sonif upgraded to Tesmata open source firmware. Similar to AWOLink, Yeti also requires to register using your email, Facebook, or Google account. In this example, we will hook it up without Gmail account. Yeti welcomes you and asks for your name. Proceed to next and here we can see various supported device which can be controlled by Yeti. Check the Sonif checkbox and proceed to next. Yeti will try to find all available Sonif devices linked to your Wi-Fi network. If you have secured your Sonif web interface ek with password, it will not allow Yeti to find your Sonif device automatically and Yeti interface will be locked down. So now we have to stop Yeti and start it again. Click on plus sign and proceed to configure a brand gearbox. Now hit over connect next to the Sonif and click on advanced options. Input Sonif IP address, username and password in respective fields and click Done. Now Yeti once again tries to find the feeded Sonif device. You may click on Scan again to try once more. And Yeti has found our Sonif device. Click finish to complete the setup and now we can turn our Sonif light on and off using light button. We can create a room to group all devices from one room. Click create a room, check the device to add into it and click tick button. You can change the name of a room as desired. We can use routines to turn the light on and off on specific time. Click on room and long press on the device. Click gearbox and click create a routine. Choose days to be included in the schedule. Change the state for this particular routine by click a arrow and click on save. Set the time on which you want to trigger this routine. You can also give desired name to this routine. Under Routine tab, 
you can also disable and enable a routine if required. You can also edit a routine by clicking on it under Routine tab. Let's add one more routine in the same way, we created our first one. Yeti also supports on-screen widgets and call it Charm. Let's create Charm by clicking plus sign button. Choose device and proceed next. You can also change name of a Charm by clicking gear button and then click edit name. You can create multiple charm for one device with different state. To change state, click on a charm and device button will appear. Toggle the state by pushing the button. Click on star icon to make the charm visible under widget. Let's create a widget for Yeti in a normal way of drag and drop. Now we can toggle light right from our smartphone home screen. Yeti provide different icons to choose for different rooms. Click on a room. Go into settings by clicking gear icon and choose a custom icon according to situation of a room. Hit done to save the new icon for your room. You can also change icon for your device by long press the device. Launch device settings by clicking gear button and choose a custom icon according to your needs. Click done after choosing your desired icon to save the changes. Now this device is linked to your account and you will not need to add it again. If you change your smartphone or reinstall app, just log in using the same credentials you used during registration and all the devices will be there for you. For more information and updates, visit our blog at www.hobbytronics.pk. Links are give under description. Thanks for watching.